think it's this brilliant, beautiful morning, recreating David Wilcox's New Year's Day walk. Fingus comes from the Anglo-Saxon word fingerst, which means wooded hill where assemblies are made. So we're now at the, break, or at the uh, Checkers Pub, which dates from the 15th century and has been featured in the, the TV television series Midsummer Murders and also Foil's War from 2013. Um, quite a beautiful pub. Features Breakspear, which is, um, did I pronounce that correctly? You did. Which is um, one of the famous beers of England. Um, actually is featured in Marlowe quite a bit. So across the street from Checkers, we have the St. Bartholomew's Parish, and the tower dates from the early Norman period. It's quite a beautiful church, I believe in the French style. So for all my friends back in the States who have their tiny libraries out in the front of their homes, this will take us to a new level. British telephone box that's been repurposed as a local library. One of the truly amazing things about the English walking footpath system is that many of the legal right-of-ways are so historical that even if you build houses on either side, the right-of-way is yet preserved. So it does make it a bit of a challenge because sometimes you'll be peeking through people's yards and things to try to find your path. But today, we're heading down this way from Phoenix and off on our journey. So after that lovely climb, we get a magnificent view of the town of Fingist in the, in the um, valley down there. It's magnificent, all the hedgerows coming together in the valley. So this is really interesting. I, I haven't seen one of these on any of my walks yet, but apparently the landowners here have decided to create um, a historical uh, sort of sculpture, actually, denote, denoting all the different um, events and storms, uh, the thinning that they've done in 1999. upon a clump of deer that are foraging on the hill over there. And now we can see Fingus where we started our journey. Down in the valley, underneath the brilliant sunlight.
And so now we arrive at Turville Copstone Windmill, featured in the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Lovely British historical feature. While it's missing its sails, it's still worth having a, having a trip to. And that's probably take a moment to talk about the quintessential British kissing gate meant to allow people through but keep the cows and sheep in the pastures in. dates from the 16th century, an Anglo-Saxon word that means dry field. Turbo features um, St. Mary the Virgin, which is at the head of the city, or the village, and um, has been featured, the Turbo itself has been featured in many movies, for War, Midsummer Murders TV, Miss Marvel, and many others. Just past the church here, David noticed um, an interesting little building up in the hills it's called a folly. Doesn't necessarily serve any particular purpose. I imagine small children having tea, but there you'll find them dotted about the English countryside, where people just want to have something interesting um, in the background. So an interesting bit of English arcana. arcana. Um, you have a school sign here. And as we've noted, um, you have the young woman carrying a satchel, and then the young boy apparently is carrying an iPad. Who knew? So here we are at another quintessential red telephone box, and it has been converted into an AED, an Automated External Defibrillator. Here we are at the Bull and Butcher, a pub that dates from the 15th century. Very interesting uh, historical reasons behind its name. And uh, Anne Boleyn, uh, who is often referred to as Bullen. She's the bull part of the name. And the butcher, if you think of Henry VIII, well, that sort of explains itself. in all of its different shades. It's just lovely to find on the trail. This is a feature in British architecture, the use of flint on walls. Often you'll see flint and brick together, but when you see it in the sun, um, my husband really likes this, it really glints. Um, it looks very sparkly and shiny. It's really lovely to look at. So if you're walking in the English countryside or even in the city, um, you'll always be looking for these green Chiltern Way 
um, well, at least in the chill turns, that indicate the public footpaths. Um, and here you can see a really nice one showing us various directions that we could head off. And now we've reached the end of the circular Fingis walk that I do on New Year's Day. I hope you've enjoyed the video.